Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? <sighs> today is the 12th day of Bestie's Way to Valentine's Day that I am doing with Sandy at Left is Right Crochet. We've only got two days left, guys. That's so depressing. Ah, oh well. Okay. <laughs> So I am bringing you in a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> so apparently cat butt in the face is a thing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I woke up to my cat's butt. <laughs> uh, yeah, she decided that she wanted to lay on my pillow and she did the whole back it up right into my face <laughs> it's like oh damn it I was having a really good sleep <laughs> I was slept well in a few days and that's how I woke up <laughs> and then I <clears throat> I went back to sleep and then I got woken up to George saying do you have any jumper cables <laughs> I'm like what Apparently his van died because his new, new van that, well, new to him van, because uh, I guess he had something plugged into the lighter thing and it drained his battery and it's like, oh crap. So yeah, it's been a morning. <laughs> so, but that's okay because I have number 12. <laughs> so let's open it. And Crinkling. <laughs> I got a message from Karen Wright in Australia saying, I love how you say crinkling. I'm going, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like crinkling. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, gosh, I need this. I've been hearing about this. Okay. It's the um, pencil and pen and uh, paintbrush organizer thing. I've been hearing all over the place for quite a while now that everybody's using this for their crochet hooks. Um, and the holes are big enough that my frills hook might fit. If not... Um, I have a whole bunch of other hooks. Okay, there. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff that will fit. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I'm actually, I'm thinking about doing a video called uh, How Many Hooks Does Sandy Have? <laughs> because, I, yeah, I just ordered two new furls hooks. <laughs> I have a problem. Send help. <laughs> I just, I am just addicted to my furls. So this is going to come in handy. I'm try. I want to try and organize um, beside my chair a little better um, because it's just, yeah, I don't have enough table space on there. So I'm thinking I'm going to reorganize and find something that I can put there that I can have better organization, maybe just a table of some sort, like a, I don't know, because I need more room. I have um, a big furls uh, case. It's like a showcase thing. And it takes up the whole, my whole table thing. So I have to figure that out. But this is going to help. This is totally going to help. Ugh. Because right now, all the hooks I'm not using, like these ones, I've got in a drawer. Well, you know, it's like, hello, I need some, I need them out so they're easily accessible. 
and this is going to help big time. So thank you. <laughs> so, oh, actually, if anybody ah, doesn't know, let's open it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it comes with these little legs. And I'm assuming they go in here. Oh, do they have, oh no, yeah, it, it does go like that. Like that. And like that. And uh, come on there. Okay. And then you put this. Oops. Well, if I had them in correctly, it might actually work. And then you put the top after you fight with it. Like that. There we go. There. Ta-da. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> and then you go Blunk. like that. So, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if my furls hooks fit in here. I don't have one here. Let's go see. Okay. I've got one of my furls hooks here. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Darn it. Unless I went up in this way. Oh, if I go that way. Actually, yeah. You just go up underneath. Then they fit. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Yay. Oh, okay. Now to organize. It. I've got... You know, I've got so much stuff going on right now, like crochet related stuff. I really want to get everything organized and I'm just, ooh. So I'm doing my tutorial right now. And I have, an, I came up with this epiphany of an idea for a sweater. <sighs> yeah. That one's going to take me, usually it takes about three days for me to make a sweater. This one's going to take me a while. Yeah. What I was thinking, I don't know. I think I was looking on Pinterest or something and I came across something that I kind of went, oh, I bet I can make that into a sweater. It's like, I need to stop my brain. I need to stop my brain because I just go zing, 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 zing. And it's like, oh, come on, stop. <laughs> I have other things to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm in the process of that. Anyway, <clears throat> and it's going to be a funky, wild sweater. I'm telling you, I'm just hoping that once I make it, maybe somebody will actually want it. <laughs> yep. Going outside the box. <laughs> Big time. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going to go. Thank you very much, Sandy. This is going to help me quite a bit. And, oh, the candle. I burned the candle, as you saw. Mm amazing smells so nice uh so thank you sandy <laughs> so don't forget to go over to sandy's channel which is linked down below and don't forget to go to the playlist which is linked up here um i'm starting to link it up here now so everybody can find it uh and then you can see all the videos from start to finish um, don't forget to go over to Miss Hootie Hootenin's channel as well and click on subscribe because I'm trying to get her to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, she's already got 20, like since I put up the video. So yay, go guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah. 
So anyways, I guess I will talk to you tomorrow where I open up this one. <laughs> I've been eyeing this one. I love this bag. Okay. And the 14th, on the 14th, um, Crochet B might be making an appearance. Yes. Just saying. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Thanks, Sandy. Hey, okay, bye.